I love writing, running cross country, playing the violin and playing piano. My favourite piece of music to play on the piano is called Sonatine. My name is Alexa. I like playing rugby league with my mates and playing computer games. When I grow up, I want to be a construction worker like my Uncle Paul. My name is Stephen. I really enjoy playing the trumpet, swimming, playing tennis, acting and singing. I'm going to be a successful actor when I'm older. My name is Jack. Hi, I'm Alana Ahmed, and we've already met Stephen, Alexa, and Jack, and this is Go Lingo. to Go Lingo, where we combine spelling and grammar with paintball, basketball, chucking things around, and we start each program travelling to Indigenous regions of Australia. And I would like to acknowledge the traditional owners of this land. Guys, it's time to travel to the Wagga Wagga in Wiradjuri country. Now pay attention to the My Country words that follow. Look and listen carefully. It's time for My Country. You're used to seeing Australia like this, but it also looks like this. There are over 250 Aboriginal and Torres Strait Islander languages. This is Wiradjuri country. One of the languages spoken here is Wiradjuri. Wiradjuri country covers Wagga Wagga. It sits on the banks of the Murrumbidgee River. The Wiradjuri people are the largest Aboriginal group in New South Wales. Murrumbidgee is the Warrawidgee word for plenty of water. Even though Wagga is an inland town, there is a beach which the locals call Wagga Beach where the Murrumbidgee forms into a large sandy beach. A long list of Australian sporting stars are from Wagga Wagga, including cricketers Mark Taylor, Michael Slater, NRL player Jamie Soward and hockey roo Melanie Twitt. So let's take a look at the words of the Wiradjuri language. The word for boomerang is bargun, bargun. The word for play is ginde, ginde. The word for swimming is bambinya, bambinya. The word for good is marang, marang. The word for go away is yanabayara, yanabayara. The word for yes is yala, yala. And Wagga Wagga is known as the city of good sports. OK, guys, what can you remember? Well, it's time to put what you know to the test. Here are a few questions for you. Just click on A, B or C on your screens to answer and we'll give you five points for every correct answer. Good luck, guys. Here's your first question. Who are the traditional owners of Wagga Wagga? Is it A, the Wiradjuri people, B, the Murrumbidgee people, or is it C, the Mordji people? Lock in your answers. Okay, they've all locked in the same answer. They've gone for A, the word Jerry people. Are they correct? Yes, they are. Fantastic work, everyone. That's five points each. Next question. What does Murrumbidgee in the Wiradjuri language mean? Is it A, desert place? B, plenty of water? Or is it C, mountain ranges? Lock in your answers. Well, 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 they've all looked in the same answer again, but they've gone for B, plenty of water. Are they correct? Fantastic work, everyone, you remembered. Next question. Who is the famous cr cricketer from Wagga Wagga? Is it A, Ricky Ponting, B, Shane Watson, or is it C, Michael Slater? Lock in your answers. Okay, they've all locked in C, Michael Slater. Are they correct? Yes, they are. Fantastic work. All right, guys, here's your last question. What is the word for swimming in the Wiradjuri language? Is it A, Marung, B, Bambinya, or C, Nawa? Lock in your answers. Okay, they've all gone for the same answer. Let's see if they're correct. Well done, everyone. Now let's take a look at the score. And we have an even score of 20 for everyone. Well done, everyone. Nice start to the show. 
Now, let's see how you go recalling just one of the words from the Weird Jerry language. It's time for us to play Blip Puzzle. Now, in this game, I will give you a clue to a word and you have to be the first. You have to move those triangular pieces around to complete the puzzle. Now, each time you click on a piece, it will flip around, revealing part of the word. Now, we'll give you five points for every piece in its correct place and ten more if you're the first to finish. Now, before we go any further, guys, let me introduce you to your max it button. You can only use it once and when you do, if you're the highest score in that game will give you 20 additional points. So would anyone like to max it for this game? No. No. Three no's, let's move on. Okay guys, here's your clue. In We're a Jerry, I'm the word for boomerang. Okay guys, 30 seconds on the clock. Your time starts now. Hmm. Boomerang. Boomerang. Do you remember the word for boomerang in the We're a Jerry language? Well, let's hope our contestants do. Time is running out. Nice work, Stephen, flipping those pieces. Nice, Alexa. Let's see how Jack's going. 15 seconds left. Boy, that ran out fast. OK. Only a few seconds left. Oh, and who was that? It was Jack. Fantastic work. You were the first to complete your puzzle. And the word is bagar. Nice work, everyone. Now, before we do anything further, I'd just like to say that was a very close game. Everyone flipped those pieces like they were hotcakes. Now, let's take a look at the score. And of course, Jack was our highest score in that game, picking up 45 points. Well done, Jack. Now, before we do jump into our next game, I'm going to have a chat to Alexa. Now, Alexa, you're quite multi-talented in mu music. How many instruments do you play? I play violin, piano and recorder. Wow, that's three instruments. Now, what's your favourite song? On piano, my favourite song is Sonatine. Nice. Well, uh, you're doing fantastic today and best of luck with your music as well. Guys, it's time for us to take another look at those six Weird Jerry words. Bargun, boomerang, kinde, play, bambinya, swimming, marang, good, yanabayara, go away, yala, yes. Okay guys, there are those words. Now it's time for us to jump into our next challenge. I hope you're ready. It's time for Starts With. Now in this game, I'll give you a clue to a word and you have to be the first to buzz in. But wait until I finish asking the question. I'll call your name, tell me the word. If it's correct, I'll ask you to spell it. We'll give you five points for the correct word and ten more if you can spell it correctly. Now guys, this is a, a max it game. Would anyone like to max it for this game? Yes, no, maybe so? Yes. yes. Yes, well if it's a yes, click on that maxi button. If it's a no, don't go. Okay, we've got two going, best of luck guys. Now let's take a look at our first category. And it's techno. Now remember guys, you have five seconds to answer. Best of luck. Starts with the letter L, a powerful beam of light used in science, medicine, manufacturing and entertainment. Yes, Stephen. Laser. Well done, can you spell it? L A S E R. Fantastic work, that's 15 points for you. Nice work. Let's see our next category. My country. Starts with the letter G. The word Jerry word for play is. Stephen. Um. I don't know. Oh, nice try. The word we're looking for is Ginde, which is spelled G I N D H A Y. Next category. What to wear. Starts with the letter L, a synthetic fabric mainly used in the manufacturing of sports clothing. Stephen, um, very fast on the buzzer. Lap lap. No, the word is <laughs> lycra, which is spelled L Y C R A. Nice try. Next category. And it's lingo. Starts with the letter I to explain the meaning of words sometimes from one language to another. Jack. Intercrept. Sorry, can you repeat that again? Intercrept. No, the word is interpret. Nice try, very close. <laughs> and the correct spelling for that word is I-N-T-E-R-P-R-E-T. -E -E Next category. My country. Starts with the letter M. We're a Jerry language for the for the word good is Alexa. Marang. Well done. Can you spell it? M-A-R-A-N-G. Well remembered. 15 points for you. Okay guys, last category. The arts. Starts with the letter E, a wooden stand used by artists to place their canvas canvases when painting or drawing. Yes, Jack. Era. Uh, era. 
No, the word is easel. Oh, nice easel. try, which is spelled E-A-S-E-L, and which I use for painting as well. Okay, guys, time to look at those scores. And we've got a tie. Both Alexa and Stephen both sit on 15 points. Well done. But guys, you both maxed it for that game, but no one was the outright winner. Therefore, you won't receive those max it points. Never mind, we're just getting started, aren't we? Now, I think it's time for us to add the scores of the three games we've played so far. So, let's take a look. Ah, and our highest score at the moment is Jack on 65 points. Now, it's looking pretty close and plenty more games to go. Now, before we do jump into our next game, I'm going to have a chat to Stephen. Now, Stephen, it says here that you would like to get into construction one day. Now, what sort of construction? What would you like to build? The skyscrapers. Wow, that is impressive. What a goal there. Skyscrapers. Are you scared of heights? Obviously no. not. And what inspired you to uh, be con doing construction in skyscrapers? My uncle, because he's always working on big buildings. Oh, there you go. Your uncle's your inspiration. Well, you're doing fantastic today. And let's put on our helmets, guys. I think it's time to play Chuck a Block. Our contestants are on a huge pit with lots of blocks, which means lots of letters. And they need to make the longest word they can from one of our Go Lingo categories. So let's take a look at today's category. Ah, techno. Now, guys, that's to do with technology. So technology has grown so fast over the years, so it could be anything to do with computers, satellites, or even phones. We'll give you 20 points for a completed word, but 40 for the longest completed word. There's no max in this game. 60 seconds on the clock. Guys, I think it's time to check a block. Go, guys. Don't waste any time now. All right, they aren't. They are digging deep, getting those letters on the platform. Nice work, everyone. Now, the category for today is techno. Hmm, can you think of any long words to do with techno? Well, I think these guys are on a nice start there. Lots of letters on their boards already. Okay, we've got a C-L-I-B-O-A for red, and we've got a comp T and a lap two. All right, I obviously don't think that they're finished yet, but there's 30 seconds left on the clock. We're halfway there, guys. Boy, that went fast. Come on, get those uh, words completed. Okay. <laughs> All right, blue's done. Come on, red. Come on, green now. Blue, check your spelling. Check that spelling everything's done. in place. All right, green's done. Keep going, red. Keep going. She's looking for one more letter, I believe. All right, ten seconds left. Come on, find that letter. Put it up there. Five seconds left. Okay, guys, check that spelling. You've still got a few seconds left. And time's up. Now, let's take a look at what we have here. We've got... Computers, nice work, you made it a plural. And we've got laptops, so have you. We've got more than one uh, computer and more than one laptop, lovely. And we've got clipboard over there. Well done, everyone, you have gone for long words. So out of the pit while we check those words. Okay, let's take a look at those words. Ah, Jack came up with computers, fantastic. And you made that plural, very smart. And we had clipboard by Alexa, nice work. And Stephen came up with laptops. And of course, there are billions of laptops now around the world, as we might know. Okay, guys, that's an even score of 20. Fantastic work. Now, I'm exhausted just watching you go crazy in that pit. But now it's time for your next challenge, so get ready for punked. In this game, you will see a couple of sentences that need correcting. All you have to do is just insert punctuation marks and correct the grammar by dragging and dropping them into the sentences. We'll give you five points for every correction and ten more if you're the first to finish. Now, guys, this is a max it game. Is anyone going to max it? Jack, you're the only one left to max it, and he is. Will. Well, best of luck, Jack, if you're the highest scorer. There's another 20 points, so best of luck. Let's take a look at today's challenge. Okay, let me get ready for it. I called my dog Barney. Come here to get your collar and lead on. We're going to the park. Mum said, do you really think Barney knows what you're saying? <laughs> well, I seem to talk to my dog as well. But anyway, never mind that, guys. We need punctuation so we can understand and read those sentences properly. So it's up to you guys to fix it. You have 60 seconds on the clock. Your time starts now. Punk those sentences. Okay. Now, we really need punctuation in these sentences. It's just so hard to understand and read without it. Okay, nice work, Stephen. He's inserting his capital letters. It's a great start. Okay, Alexa's just inserted a comma. Nice work, Alexa. Let's see how Jack's going. Okay, Jack has found the speech and has entered his quotation marks. 
Nice work. Okay, 30 seconds left, guys. Time is ticking. Let's pump these sentences. Hmm. Okay, nice work, Alexa. Let's see how Stephen's going. Time's ticking, guys. 15 seconds left on the clock. Nice work, Stephen. Everyone's off to a nice pace. But will anyone finish before time's up? I guess only time will tell. Five seconds left. Pump those sentences. And time's up. Let's take a look at the correct punctuation. Boy, does that look much better. It does. Now let me read it. I called my dog, Barney, come here to get your collar and lead on. We're going to the park. Mum said, do you really think Barney knows what you're saying? Well, there you go, guys. Let's take a look at how you all went. Nice work there, Stephen. You got quite a few ticks there. A couple of wrongies as well, but hey, this game is challenging. Let's take a look at how Alexa went. Lovely work there, Alexa. Lots of ticks as well. And plenty of green on your sentences there, Jack. Well done. Well, that can only mean one thing. Lots of scores. Let's take a look at the scores. Yes, but our highest score for that game was Jack picking up 65 points, which, of course, you maxed it for that game, Jack. So that score includes those 20 max at points. Well done. All right, guys. Now, before we jump into our next game, I'm going to have a chat to Jack. Now, Jack, you're quite the athlete and you love swimming. Yes, that's right. And I hear you're actually pretty good. How good are you? Well, I got into regionals this year. And what's your favourite uh, stroke? Breaststroke. Awesome, breaststroke. I'm actually not too bad at that. I'm sure I'm not as good as you, though, uh, but I don't, you don't want to see me swim. OK, well, you're doing fantastic today as well and good luck with your swimming. But now it's time for us to grab our controllers and play shootout. Just before we jump into our next game, I think it's time for us to take another look at the overall scores. Ah, and Jack is in the lead on 150 points. Now, don't worry, Alexa and Stephen, we've still got a few more games to go, so it's going to be very interesting to find out what happens. But let's get straight into our next game, Shootout. In this game, we've placed words on basketballs. Words are either spelled correctly or incorrectly. So, guys, all you have to do is shoot as many correctly spelt words into the hoop as you can. Shoot a correct word, your score will go up. But shoot an incorrect word, your score will come back down. So shoot carefully. All right, you have 45 seconds on the clock. It's time to play ball. Shoot those words. All right, now lots of words now appearing onto the court. Some are spelled correctly, but some are spelled incorrectly. So our contestants have to be very careful of which words they shoot. 30 seconds left, time's running out. Come on, Alexa, come on, Steven. Let's try and keep up. Three seconds left to go. Try and keep it on the screen. All right, there we go. I can see you, Blue. Ten seconds left. Come on, Blue, let's try and shoot some words. Five seconds left. Oh, and time's up. Let's take a look at the how you went on the game. Starting with Jack. Fantastic work, Jack. Lots of correctly spelt words there. Impressive. Let's take a look at how Alexa went. Nice work, Alexa. Not one incorrect spelt word in the hoop. That's, fast. That's fantastic. Now, let's take a look at Stephen. Don't worry, Stephen. This game is challenging. Now, let's take a look at those scores. And our highest score for that game was Jack picking up 80 points. Well done, Jack. OK, let's just see how the scores have changed. Our overall scores. Okay, Jack is now in front on 230 points. But like I said, we've got two more games left now. Okay, guys, back to your places while we get ready for the next game. Well, it looks like our contestants are ready and they're in place for our next game, Boxed In. Now, in this game, we've placed, you'll be placing words into a grid like this. When the game starts, one word will already be in place and then more words will arrive onto your screens in which you will need to link. We'll give you five points for every word you link and ten more if you're the first to complete your grid. Now, all right, guys, are you ready for this one? Second last game. You have 45 seconds on the clock. It's time to box those words. OK, the first word there is emeralds. And eight in total will be arriving onto their screens in which they will need to link. OK, these words are stubborn. They will only stick if it is its correct position. So hopefully Stephen can place one soon. 30 seconds left. Boy, time is running out. Come on, Alexa, let's try and place one. Jack's placed two already. Impressive, Jack. Can he place another one? Time's running out. 
Yes, well done. Alexis placed one and so has Stephen. Okay, come on guys, less than 15 seconds left on the clock. Five seconds left on the clock. Let's box those words. Oh, and time's up. Now let's take a look at the completed grid. Well, there we go, guys. Let's take a look at how you all went. All right, Stephen, you're about to place your second word. Nice try. Let's see how Alexa was going. And she also was about to place her second word. And Jack plays quite a few. Well done, everyone. Let's take a look at the scores. Ah, and very close game indeed. We have Jack picking up 20 points and Alexa and Stephen not too far behind on 10. Well done, everyone. Now, it's time for our last game of the day, so grab those controllers. It's time to play Splat. All right, just one game away from finding out who is today's Go Lingo winner. I'm very excited to find out, but we've got one more game left, so let's get straight into it. In Splat, I will give you a clue to a word, and you have to spell the word by firing paintballs at the floating letters. Now, guys, don't be too hasty, because you only have a limited number of ammo, and if you run out, you'll have to wait until everyone else runs out until you all can get a reload. Now, we'll give you five points for every correct letter hit, and t 10 more if you're the first to finish. So, guys, are you ready to play the last game of the day? Yeah. yeah. Awesome. Well, so am I. So, let's take a look at your clue. Someone who describes a sporting event on the radio or television. Well, there you go, guys. There's your clue. 60 seconds on the clock. Last game of the day. It's time for a splat attack. Hmm. Someone who describes a sporting event on the radio or television. Do you have any clue what that word could be? Let's find out. Okay, come on guys, splat those letters down. Time is ticking. Nice start, Green. Come on, Red, come on, Blue. Can you keep up? Now remember, you have to aim carefully. You only have a limited number of ammo. Okay, Green's out of ammo and is now waiting for a reload. Will he get it? All right, come on guys, time's ticking. Slap those letters down. Okay, that back wall's getting very colorful. Aim carefully. Five seconds left, guys. Slap those letters. Okay, time's up. What were we trying to split down? The word was commentator. Well, there you go, guys. Now, let's take a look at how you all went on the scores. And our highest scorer there, oh, close game indeed, but Alexa, you were the highest scorer, picking up 40 points. Well done, Alexa. Okay, guys, I think it's time to get serious now. Come over here. It is now time to find out who today's Go Lingo winner is. So are you guys ready? Yes. yes. Awesome. Well, so am I. Who is it going to be, guys? They've all played a fantastic job, well, day in their games, and they've all done really well. So who's it going to be? Is it going to be Steven? Is it going to be Alexa? Or is it going to be Jack? I think I'm ready to find out. Today's Go Lingo winner is three, two, one. It's Jack on 275 points. Well done, Jack. Congratulations. Nicely played, everyone, as well. Come over here, guys. Well played. You all did a fantastic job and put in 110% effort. Did you guys have fun? Yeah. Yes. Awesome. Well, that's the main thing, isn't it? Well, we had fun. We hope you guys did too. We'll catch you around here on Go Lingo. Goodbye, everyone. Yawa. <laughs> nice work, everyone. That's fun. How was that last game?